SMT Nation, we are back. Nation, in this video, we're going to discuss something outrageous. No idea this was going on, but I saw it in my Google News feed. I want to discuss it here with you all today because I, th I think this impacts a lot of people. There are a lot of people who want the Starlink satellite service, right? Elon's, um, you know, home broadband solution, business broadband solution. It's so huge for the industry. It's so big for people because it's going to get them connected in places that typically don't have service availability, whether it's with wireline or fixed wireless from terrestrial networks, there's a place for the service and it's going to do some incredible things. So this is disappointing and kind of, I would say concerning, but we'll, we'll see what happens with this. Let me give you guys the news, like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the uh, bell notifications icon to never miss an upload from the SMT. All right, this news dropped a few days ago, hit the Google news feed. Elon Musk Starlink satellites have been falling from the sky 120 different satellites have fallen out of orbit which i mean obviously that raises huge concerns these satellites are burning up on their return uh people are seeing them in the skies i guess they appear like fireballs or some or something i don't i don't know but as they disintegrate obviously it becomes e-waste and, and obviously environmentalists are going to be very <laughs> Very concerns about this, and, and and I think those concerns are valid. But in January, just one month to have 120 of these things uh, kind of re-enter the atmosphere in failure, you know, you're 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 talking about a handful of these every day. Now SpaceX, I'm sure, continues to launch every day, so that means they're going to obviously replace them and and send newer models up, which are probably better than the old ones. At least I I hope so, and hopefully better suited to survive longer than you know the ones that they're replacing uh so 500 or so of the first gen starlink satellites have already reached the end of their lifespan so they need to be replaced i think if i remember correctly starlink has over 6,000 satellites already in orbit for for uh, you know coverage and you know these re-entries and all that it, it, this stuff is going to happen and oftentimes they're even planned right so how concerning is it i'm not really sure is the rate alarming i think that's the problem uh but to me i think um some of this is to be expected but you know knowing that they're falling uh out of orbit and then just kind of like becoming problems i think somewhere around alaska is where they typically land yeah it, it's concerning and you know obviously even if the launches outpace the decommissions and the failures still brings some questions to the forefront of how reliable are these satellites is this going to be a problem in the future and how is elon and spacex how are they going to address this because more and more satellites are going up into orbit they're they're trying to densify their constellation because now you're talking about deals with t-mobile and you're talking about deals with european operators you're trying to sell home broadband service there's going to be more and more launches like we're talking weekly basis every couple of weeks you're you're hearing about 50 and and 200 sats going into orbit so i'm definitely concerned i'm sure others of you are uh what are your concerns if any is it the failure rate is it the sheer number of satellites that are coming down at that pace or do you view it more as like well let's get rid of the gen 1 stuff we'll address the issue and just get some more reliable better performing ones Kind of up into the constellation I, I think that's probably the most sensible thing but what's your take comment let me know what you think about all this like share subscribe and we'll see you on the next video